stands for New Mexico. You're watching KLB4 News at 6.30. A historic moment for Belen today. President Biden came to town and we checked. It appears this is the first time any sitting U.S. president has ever paid a visit there. So the president is marking the one-year anniversary of two pretty major laws impacting New Mexico. The Chips and Science Act, which deals with semiconductors, think Intel and Rio Rancho, and the Inflation Reduction Act. So we have crews covering the president's visit today. Uh, Felice Romero has the local buzz from what was a very big day for Valencia County. We want to get started, though, with Matt Grubbs because, Matt, the, the name, you know, the Inflation Reduction Act, probably not the most accurate way to describe what's happening here because there was a lot of talk about spending and also job creation today. Yeah, definitely. That's a part of the bill, Tessa and Ryan. $368 billion in climate-related projects alone. And that's really what the president was here to highlight. We're at what was an abandoned factory in Berlin that has been purchased by Arcosa Wind Towers. They're retooling it, reopening it. When the president signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law, the company's CEO says Arcosa got a huge order, biggest in their history, a billion dollars of the steel towers that hold up wind turbines. So that's what they're going to manufacture here to help fill that order. Some 250 jobs in Valencia County. And we heard the president say today that that is something that is being replicated across the country. This company is a great example. They're now poised to be the leader in the wind industry. But a few years ago, they were laying off workers because we weren't investing in them. So we passed this significant climate legislation. Not only it moves us away from fossil fuels, to cleaner technologies like wind, but it means we're going to make things and new technology here in America. And there's no reason, there's no reason why we can't do it. We have the best educated, we have the most advanced technology in the world. Why are we not doing that? And that's really the reason for the president's visit here in a nutshell, to make that argument that, hey, we are doing that, that all the spending and all the laws that were passed a year ago are starting to take effect. The president highlighted $25 million for Albuquerque's Uptown Transit Center, $160 million for water projects in eastern New Mexico, a billion dollars in infrastructure for broadband Internet access. Now, not everyone is confident that that money is going to arrive and that it'll make the kind of difference that the president is promising. Uh, but he says that America cannot lead the world with a second-class infrastructure. I'm not here to declare victory on the economy. We have a lot more work to do. But we have a plan, and it's turning things around. Binomics is just another way of saying restore the American dream. That is some pretty heady talk, but the yeah. uh, success of that argument um, will play really into the president's success in running for a second term. One note, he didn't take any questions today, but a reporter from Fox News did grab him as he was walking out and asked the president about a testimony on Capitol Hill that he had listened into business conversations of his son, Hunter Biden. The president called that, quote, a lousy question when asked why. He said, because it's not true. That's something that's going to be following him around wherever he goes. Back to you guys. Oh, yeah, probably until next November and beyond. That's for sure. Matt, thanks so much.